YouTube kick. Let's get right into this video. If you're cis, I want you to message the trans person in your life and ask them what is one thing that you can do to lighten. Let me start that over for y'all. Kind of quiet. If you're cis, I want you to message the trans person in your life and ask them what is one thing that you can do to lighten their load this week. Whether that be grocery shopping, folding laundry, doing dishes, ask the trans people in your life if there's a task or something that you can offer them to help with the burden that we're carrying because we're having to deal with all of this stuff right now while having to deal with all of the life stuff that we regularly deal with. And the regular life stuff that we deal with is life stuff. And then there's transphobia and living as a trans person in the world. And then there's what's going on right now, which is all of that combined. And then send that trans person $5 so they can get themselves a treat. You really effed it up at the end. <laughs> send them five bucks. So I'm supposed to be, so this trans person is supposed to get what, $100? So we're all, so let's say, how many people did you reach with this? I don't know. Well, let's say this person reached a thousand people. So those thousand people are supposed to get $5. You're crazy. You know what this comes from, right? The original, this is not a new thing. Um, what they used to do this for is for parents, right? Somebody who was a mother or father, they'd be like to ask a mother or father, if you didn't have kids yourself, you would ask a mother or father, what you could do for them to help their uh, lighten their load for the day. And that's what you would do. But they took the, they just took that and twisted that completely into a different place. Um, and sometimes I really wonder sometimes these people are trolling. They really wanted to send the $5 to treat themselves. What about me? What about other people? You know, everybody goes through stuff in life, you know, and that's why the, there's the, that harsh reality that you hear people say that the world doesn't owe you anything because it really doesn't. The world does not owe you anything, right? Everybody's going through life. Normal everyday life, paying bills, going to work, doing what they got to do. And then they have stuff on top of that. Everybody does. And maybe some are less than others. Some people have life going on and then they have to take care of their family. And they also got to take care of their dying mother or their dying father. Or they got to take care of the disabled child. Or they got to take care of, they got to take care of this financial burden over here. They got to pay off this debt. They got to try to make it through college while also raising kids. They got to do this. They got to do that. Everybody's going through a, a, maybe just a little bit extra, some more than others. But everybody's going through life. Some people are going through life and they live in a cardboard box because they got addicted to drugs. So they're dealing with life. Plus, they're trying to get over their drug addiction. Plus, they're trying to get a home. Plus, they're trying to get a job. But their addiction is holding them back. People are going through things. And there's some people deal with life and they also don't have legs. There's people who are going through life and they also are a burn victim. So they have to deal with that in relationships. And then they get it. You don't want me to go into that, but you don't get no special treatment because you're trans. And that's the reason we are so against the trans people in this, in this uh, form. Um, because it seems, then this is once again, this is what's going on with this group. And it's why some people want to separate the T from the LGB. They are they are in chaos right now. But this is what people don't want is to be like, oh, you know what? I know you're trans, so I'm just going to give you an easy life. I know you're already trans. So I'm going to send you five bucks so you can treat you. No, not going to happen. You're going to deal with life like everybody else got to deal with life. The hardships and everything that comes with it. Could you say and I hate when people use the whole with everything else going on. Be specific. What? What specifically is going on? Because when you just say, and everything else that's going on is so crazy. What? What? Tell me what. What are you talking about? Are you talking about the kids? Is that what you're saying? That's a burden on you? That you're making kids go through all this stuff? That's a burden on you? How? That has nothing to do with you. We're talking about the kids. That has everything to do with them. You look like, you look like you're an adult. So what do you mean? Everybody and what y'all are going through. No, y'all aren't going through anything collectively. Y'all brought this up on yourselves. You got foolish. You got greedy. Okay. You started going through your own mental health issues and decided to put it on everybody else and burden us with it. And then we have to change our lives and people ain't going for it because all of us are dealing with something and we ain't about to just sit here and sit back and help you go through your life while the rest of our lives just fall apart. And we got to go crazy saying the, them, these are and all that just driving ourselves nuts. No, we're not going to do it. Good luck with what you're trying to say. I hope all goes well for you. I hope sometimes you, I hope one day you finally come to your sense Good luck to you. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Y'all have a great night. I'm done with my show. 
thank you guys who came to the live stream and watched the whole thing. And for you guys who watch this on YouTube, be blessed. Peace.